and Divine Healer here welcoming you back to another Tarot. That's right. Tarot card reading day. That's right. I got some messages for y'all. So welcome. Come on in. Kick your shoes off. Chill out. Grab your little blankie. It's cold out today. Make yourself some hot chocolate, whatever, because we're going to get it underway. So, Divine Squad, thank you so much. Appreciate y'all coming back. Your likes, your shares, your subscribe, your devotion, your comments. Love it. Noobs, thanks. Do the same. Follow along. Stay in tune. Subscribe so you can become part of the Divine Squad. Right? So... We're going to just continue on with the readings today, and we're going to go ahead and do the sign of Scorpios. So, Scorps, come on in, sit down, get the fire going, you know what I'm saying? Bust out the s'mores, let's get this hot. Here we go. I've been beating these cards up for a while, so they're pretty well shuffled. I'm going to go ahead and give them a bunch more to go, because uh, I'm going to just get them all switched up a little bit here, you know what I'm saying? So... Scorpios, how's your day going? You all enjoying yourself? I hope uh, all is well. Bam, got a bam, you know, all that good stuff. So let's, uh, <clears throat> let's give a little directive here. These cards are tarot cards. I'm an intuitive reader. I put this plus this equals a story, right? So I'll give you that messages through these cards and intuition because, <whistles> anyways, I put two cards at the top of. The, the energy, right? That is the representation of your duality. So that's the balance of your yin and your yang, the positive, your negative, good and bad, dark and light. Got it? Good. Great. So here we go. With no further delay, Scorpios, let's get you underway. Oh, okay. Well, there's too many. There's like five cards that popped up. I really can't take all that. I look like three until I smushed them away. Okay, let's try that again. Okay, well, that one just came right out. So that's the first card out is the Hierophant, Taurus energy, law, church, government, guidance. Okay. Let's get the other card, and we're going to see what um, what this is all about. Let's get the balance now. Well, now, it's about your official person. The lover's card. The divine lover. See the wings, the wingings. See the tree of life. See the apple. That means Adam. And Eve. And the arrow is from the divine. Uh, your divine partner. Official. Right. So you are thinking about your official person. Your divine counterpart. Your match. Your lover. Your one and only Scorpios. This is what I'm getting. So here we go. We're going to get right into it. Here comes the story. Four of Swords comes out. Bam. Four of Swords. So that is like a uh, retreat. Solace. Uh, taking time to restabilize your, um, your thoughts. So you re... You're, you're retreating from your official person, your divine counterpart. You're in a retreat. So you two are not together. You're in separate. You're separate mode. You're, uh, you're stabilizing your thoughts. Here's the next card, Scorpios. And it's about having the Ace of Cups. So you retreated because now you're thinking about having a new start in love. You want this cup to overflow with, with your uh, official person, your divine counterpart. And that is fucking verified with the official Hierophant card. So that's official, that this is what you want as a new start with your divine counterpart that you retreated from, that you are now taking time to reflect 
and stabilize your thoughts about putting this offer of a new, you're offering a new cup of love, right? Ace of Cups, a new start in love to your official divine counterpart, soulmate, pop, temperance, patience, balance, mixing things together, balancing your red and your blue, so your passions and your emotions, that's the balance that you are trying to achieve, because you see your two as a good balance, because Scorpios are hot. Right. You want to get it on. Yeah. Humpty Dance. The Humpty Dance is your chance. That's right there. It's under the lovers, the lovers card. So, well, It's, it's saying that's gonna maybe you know take a little balance, a little patience to get intimate with this person, or decide to choose to be intimate, right? Because nine of swords pops out, so nines are about um, attainment. So you want to be able to have the strength. Well. There's a delay, okay? There's a delay with being intimate with your divine counterpart. It's official who you have retreated from to stabilize your emotions, to present a new offer of love that is balanced and patient, or that you need to have balance and patience about making this decision of intimacy a delay so you have to have patience and balance about the intimacy that's on a delay okay so you can't get laid right now but have no fear action is here the knight of swords so someone you don't want this delay so you start taking action in your mind so you start making the effort that's effort, and it's verified underneath the Ace of Cups and the Hierophant, so it's all clarified. So yeah, you start making an offer, you start taking action in your mind to go ahead and present this big cup of love, King of Cups. And that's under the Temperance, which is under the, two, the Ace, I mean the Lover's card. So, even though there's a, you don't, you, even though there's a delay, you start taking action in your mind swiftly and nothing's fucking getting in your way to now stand looking like the king offering some shit because you want love. That's what you want. Love and love. More love. Scorpios are in love. I hear you, sweetheart islands and shit here you go so the knight of cups comes out oh my god but it's a slow and steady offer that's not a whole bunch right now so you want to take it slow you want to just kind of offer and offer and offer not just like bam right so you want to milk it you want to kind of ease it into it build that foundation of stability for the emotions right and the love nurture and let it brood and fester right grow Right, I hear you grow. Anyways, so five of cups comes out. So, um, there's like a loss of something, but something still remains. So you feel that. 
you're wondering if this change is good. Yeah, five of cups. Five significantly signify. Five of cups signifies change. Cups is your emotions, five are about change. So this is, your emotions are changing, okay? Because in the beginning, you were in your mind wondering if this is what you should do, because you were treated. And now you want to present this cup of love, the ace of cup, a new fresh start. And so you're wondering, with the five of cups, if this is the right decision that you, you know, change is this emotional change is this good is this what you need is this you know is this kind of will it change how is it going to change but the slow and steady action of the knight of cups says, says that change will happen in your emotions but it's a slow change so have patience right back up to the temperance card here we go and it's two wands Two of Wands, so that's more another choice, passionately, Wands. You know, there's there's a little bit of sadness, right? There's a little bit of sadness because maybe you don't feel that this person's going to reciprocate the idea of wanting to get back or wanting to have this relationship. That's what you're despairing about, okay? So now we change that. We change the Five of Cups to despair and sorrow, right? Because this is what you fear is that they're not going to accept your offer. Because you came in with it hard. So let's pull another card here. And Ace of Swords pops out. So because you fear and you're sad and you're despaired about them maybe not off uh, taking your offer and accepting your choice, that puts you in the Queen of Swords. So now you're still beautiful and sassy and all that good stuff. But off with your head. You ain't fucking around. You ain't taking no shit. You will put a gat in somebody's ass. Right. So you're feeling a little defensive. A little... Right? Because you've just... In your head about... Are they going to accept my choice? Are they going to go with my offer? And the message comes in loud and clear. Let's work together. Let's build a foundation. Let's make this right. Let's get this going, right? Page of Pentacles. So that has been the story. So here we go with the verdict, the outcome. What is the position now of the Scorpios for the final outcome of this story? Well, Knight of Pentacles comes out. Slow and steady wins the race. S take it slow to build this foundation strong and abundant. Take the action to it. If you're taking action to it. Here's the last card of the verdict, the outcome. Three of Wands. So, I see like new horizons, because look at, they're looking out in the horizon, but there's also two wands. So he's like putting those behind him, right? And exploring this idea. So it's worth exploring to start moving towards laying down this foundation of stability. <laughs> see? And see the love overflow that Ace of, Ace of Cups, that new start in love. Because that's what you want to take charge for, to be intimate, to be closer, and, you know, get your groove on, a little bum and grind, whatever, but still have that connection, because intimacy is not always about sex. And so don't despair so much and think that this person's not going to decide and take your offer to leaving you so defensive that any false move or false word that you might misunderstand you'll cut them right off because they come in with this message of, hey let's work together this is this could be really abundant and great let's start taking action to do this and explore this and let's just see what happens scorpions what 
That has been your reading. I'm sorry for my dog barking so crazy. Somebody checking the mail and some shit. Anyways, congratulations. I, I hope you guys work it out. I hope you enjoy this new start, right? It looks very romantic and like it's going to work good. So um, take it. Go with it. Be safe and pray. Talk to you later.